After yesterday's beast of a sign, let's do something easier today. So this sign is just a horizontal, a Winkelhaken, a vertical over the horizontal, and another vertical. Syllabically, this sign is most commonly read as who, but it can also be read as pog, pock, or pock, and sometimes as bach or bach. Logographically, this sign can be read as mushin, which is the Sumerian word for bird. In Akkadian, bird is itsuru. In Sumerian, and Akkadian as well, nouns come before adjectives. So if you wanted to write big bird, like on my shirt, it would be mushen gal. I'll do a whole episode on gal eventually because it shows up a lot to modify nouns. Um, but I just wanted to share how you would write big bird. And we do have a mythological big bird in Mesopotamian culture. His name is Anzu. You might have seen this relief before. This is interpreted to be the hero Ninurta fighting Anzu. But there is another story that I like better. So in the story, Lugol Banda, who is Gilgamesh's dad actually, is exploring in the mountains and stumbles across the nest of the Anzu bird. And the parent Anzud isn't there, but the babies are. So Lugol Banda gives the babies snacks, some cake, some meat, and makes the nest all pretty. Then the parent Anzud bird comes back and starts calling for the babies, but the ba babies don't respond. So the Anzud is freaking out. But then once they get back to the nest, they realize that Lugol Banda has made it really nice and pretty and taken care of the birds. And so to thank Lugol Banda, the Anzu bird gives him the power of super speed, which I think is the best superhero origin story ever. You help some baby giant birds, and then the parent giant bird gives you your powers. Nothing better than that.